What is good everyone? It is your boy Attach and today we are back with another video. It is a class setup video slash best guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 in my opinion. I'm just here to try and give you some information on the game that could potentially help you excel your game, improve, maybe play, get a few extra kills here and there and, uh, and maybe enjoy it more because obviously it's a, lot, it's a lot of fun when you're just destroying everyone, kill after kill after kill after kill. You're getting streaks, calling them in, destroying them, spawn trapping and all that stuff. But when you're getting destroyed, you're getting shot on the side, spawn trapping. So you can't even move getting hit by streaks. It's not very fun like you're just gonna leave that game But this should hopefully help you and I do hope it does if it does make sure to comment like and give me other Suggestions for other videos you'd like to see me make and uh, let's get right into it Let me show you guys my classes and my score streaks. Let's first let's start off with the score streaks though because those, those are pretty super easy and um, You are a lot of good stuff that was in private match score streaks. What I use in pubs is I use UAV counter UAV and then I'll use like um, attack chopper. And the reason I use UAV is because every time someone gets a kill, like you get a lot of points when someone gets a kill on your team. And every time someone gets a kill, it's more points on more points on more points. And then you use a counter UAV, you get more points and more points and more points because it's you just call both in. And you're also blocking the other team's UAV or uh, mini map, so they cannot see what they're they cannot see their mini map. They don't see where you're shooting. Your teammates are shooting on the mini map, so it's super helpful in game. And then the attack chopper, just because it's an attack chopper, it gets a lot of kills. You call it in, it starts destroying people. And uh, yeah, so UAV and counter UAV are pretty much used to just call it in, help you find people in game and them not see you. But also, more importantly, it's there to help you rank up. Because each time someone gets killed, a kill while you have yours called in, you get some extra points from that. So that is why I use these kill streaks. And now we are on to the classes. First, I have the uh, MX9 right here. This is probably my favorite overall SMG. I would say it's the best gun. I will break down the SMG classes real quick or SMG guns. The MX9 is probably the best overall gun. So it's good up close. It's good medium range. It has its potential long range. And then the GKS, a little bit less damage, but a little bit more range. So this gun's better at range, but I value the MX9 short range and medium range more so than the GKS just because it's stronger. And I feel like I, I just like it more. I'm more comfortable with it. And the Spitfire, this gun is a very close up weapon. Um, if you have this gun, you pretty much want to be like point blank in people's faces, pretty much in the shotgun range, because this gun melts. I love this weapon when I'm like pushing something and I know someone's gonna be super up close to me, just because you can slide with it, you can start hip firing, and it shoots so fast. The fire, like the damage, the range, and the accuracy are pretty low, but the fire rate, look how quick that is. It's it's definitely my favorite gun to be point blank range with, but medium and long range. It's not very good. So just use this for like very, very, very short range uh, gunfights. And then we got the Cordite, which is another very good overall gun. Uh, the fire rate's pretty good, comparing it to the MX-9, because I think it's most comp like closest to. The range is a little bit less than the MX-9. It has the same amount of damage, and like around the same, I think a little bit more fire rate, but maybe a little bit more accuracy. So it's pretty much like the same gun. It has a lot more bullets. Um, but I don't know, just in my opinion, I just feel like the MX-9 feels better when I'm using it in-game, and it does more damage, but the Cordite definitely is not bad. It's definitely usable, and uh, I just prefer the MX-9. Here, we got the uh, SOG. It's kind of like the Spitfire, and you can also use dual wield SOG, so you're just running around spraying everything, and the fire rate's really fast. It has a little bit more damage than the, uh, the Spitfire, so it's good. It's really good up close, too, but I don't know, man. This Spitfire, the Vesper look, the Vesper Black Ops 3, it has that look, so I don't know. I just been using this bit far from the start and I really like it so the SOG is good as well but like I said it's a super up close gun like you want to be like point blank ranges or very close to people while using this weapon so let's get back to the classes we got the MX-9 where this is what I use I use long barrel FMJ rapid fire and stock I use long barrel just in case I'm medium range to kind of give me a little bit more range get put some more damage when I'm shooting enemies at range then I got the FMJ just in case people have body armor. Uh, obviously, you can shoot through walls better, but uh, I mostly use it for the body armor. The shooting through walls is just like a plus. Because when people have body armor, you know it can take a lot of bullets to kill them. And if you are playing a whole squad of people using body armor, you're gonna you're gonna want to melt them. Because if you don't have FMJ, they're gonna it's gonna take quite a few bullets to kill them. So FMJ to get through their armor real quick and then to take them down. And then I use stock just because it's uh, when you aim in, 
you have a really fast movement speed. You're literally just going back and forth. Like you're on a head glitch, going back and forth. It's very hard for them to shoot you or a lot more difficult than just standing still at that head glitch. Rapid fire, this is for pubs of course, not for competitive. So rapid fire just because it's nasty, increases rate of fire and you just dominate because you're shooting a lot faster than everyone else. So this is the public match class, not a competitive class guys. Cause I'm sure rapid fire will be banned in competitive. So that's my class one. I also use Stimshot, and my theory on Stimshot and armor is Stimshot, you can heal up after you can get one shot, heal up, get one shot, heal up. But if you have armor, you get hurt, you can't heal anymore. So that's why I prefer Stim over armor. And then perk one, I honestly don't really use perk one. I would like to use it sometimes to block like nades or stuns for with tag mass or flak, but some classes I use it, some I don't. And then I lightweight so I can move around the map or maneuver around the map a lot quicker and ghost just so I'm undetectable by UAVs but you have to be moving you cannot be standing still while I have a UAV so even if you're in like a corner literally just be like move your character like this just taking a few steps going in a little circle right there that's uh, probably the best way to do it and this class is a very like stack molly what are you barking at all right sorry guys my dog's barking she must have heard a sound um but yeah this class is a very like weapon stack heavy class just because it's you want to be able to do the most damage you can. You have armor, or you have FMJ to pierce the armor. You have long barrels, so just in case that range. Rapid fire, just in case, or I mean, just to shoot faster, so you can kill everyone. And then stock, just so you people have a harder time shooting you while you're moving around super quickly. Now our next class, we have another MX9, but this class is like um, more of a sneaky, a uh, definitely more of a sneaky class. So. We got the MX9 with Suppressor this time, obviously. It's Suppressor, you don't show up on the minimap, they don't know where you're shooting from, especially in pubs, this helps a lot because people will like see their teammates dying all, all over the place and they'll be like, uh, where's the red dot? Where's the red dot? And you're just around finessing and destroying all of them. Long barrel just to get some more range because Suppressor actually, I think, takes a little bit of damage away from the weapon. It always has in Call of Duty, even if it doesn't say in the stats, I feel like it always has. It's just, you can just tell. And the long barrel, just to give it a little bit more range, um, and then stock. Just so you move around a lot quicker, you can strafe the doorway. When you see people outside, you're just moving around, finessing, and they can't really shoot you while you're making or having good movement to be able to kill them. And then we got this. It's probably my favorite pistol. Uh, I like the Strife and the Mozu, but this three-round burst pistol, I just have a thing for three-round burst pistols. In the MW2, it was the Rafika. Black Ops 3, it was the, oh my god. I can't, why can't I think of the Black Ops 3 one? Why can't I think of the Black Ops 3? How do I remember the MW2 one, but I forgot the Black Ops 3 one when I was just playing Black Ops 3? Okay, that's bad. But yes, I just have a thing for uh, three round burst pistols. And this class, we actually have flak jacket, lightweight, and ghost, just so we don't get detected by UAVs. We're moving around the map quickly. And uh, if a car gets called and a nade gets thrown on me, I'll still be able to tank the nade. And then my favorite class, my favorite class to be super, super aggressive with, I wish, I really wish you could put a suppressor on this weapon. Unfortunately, you can't, because then I'd be like all over the people's bases just with the Spitfire going ham. But I have extended mags because of the clip, it shoots very fast. So I want to get as much as I can out of the clip, get enough bullets. You don't really need any extra damage, I would say. So uh, I choose extended mags, quick draw to pull the gun up quicker, and uh, stock just so I can strafe around, like I said. Uh, stim shot, and then I will use on this class no first perk. I will use lightweight and dexterity to be super quick, lightweight. Obviously, you move around the map quicker, you take less or no falling damage at all, so you can just jump off buildings and stuff, uh, fall off the map and still make it. Dexterity, though, will be for like mantle, climb, slide, and swat weapons quicker, increase weapon accuracy when jumping or mantling. So, whenever you're climbing up something, you get bad time, you climb up something, someone pushes you, you're still able to have a pretty accurate shot, and your bullets are still, bullets are still able to connect with him. And so... This is just like a very super fast class. And then obviously we gotta have ghosts at all times just because you don't wanna get seen by UAVs. That's one of my big things. And uh, like also controlling score streaks. So if they're like a gunship, they won't see you. Um, when they call a UAV, as long as you're moving, they won't see you as well. Cause I just hate getting seen by UAVs cause it's so cheesy. But I'm literally the person that uses UAVs so I can see the other people. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta play it smart. But that's why I use ghosts on all my classes, guys. And then let's go to the next class. It is the custom four ICR and um, this gun, the ICR. Well, let, let me break down the ARs too. Let me break down the ARs too real quick. The ICR. This is the best long range AR. Medium is decent. Short range is all right. But long range, this is where the AR thrives. Medium to long range. This is where the AR thrives, the ICR. Just because it's so accurate. And when you use grip two, look at this. Minimize recoil when aiming down, when uh, aiming before firing. Reduces flinch when aiming outside. So you pretty much get zero flinch 
when you get shot and uh, with the grip too. So your shot is a laser beam. It's it's insane how good this gun is when you're at a uh, distance or like medium to long range. That's why I love this gun medium to long range. And then we got, oh wait, let me go back to this. We got the Rampart. This gun shoots slower. It doesn't have that much range, but it's super strong. It kills like three to four bullets and it just absolutely melts. So the Rampart is very good. The KN, it shoots, it's another gun that shoots a little slow. Um, it's just tiny, a tiny bit quicker than the Rampart, but not enough to where I would use the KN over the Rampart in my opinion. I prefer the Rampart over the KN. If I'm going for a gun that's going to do damage and shoot slower, might as well just use the uh, the uh, Rampart. But the KN does have a little bit more range, so you I mean everyone has their own personal preferences. And then this gun right here, I would say the Vapor is probably the best overall AR. It's uh, it feels like it plays like an SMG because it's a uh, it's a fully auto. But it, you can like run around and play super aggressive with it. So I like this gun just because it's good short range. It's good medium range. It kind of falls off long range. But I still I think it's the best like overall AR. So I do think in competitive that the ICR and Vapor or maybe the Maddox too will be like the three most used ARs for sure. And maybe even the Rampart if you're doing like a play where you sh or a push where you just want to instantly kill people. And uh, here we got the Maddox. Um, the Maddox is good. Honestly, I think it's like the vapor pretty much just it shoots it has like less range but it shoots a little bit quicker so i just prefer the vapor as an overall uh, ar and then let's get back to the classes so we got the icr class then we got the vapor class right here we got red dot we got long barrel and we got stock just so we're moving around the map quickly we have if we're at like medium range or long range we can still do some more damage and then reflex just to make sure our shots on point we can see where we're shooting and make sure we hit the target and uh, the, the three arm burst pistol, like I said, I love this gun and just because it's a three arm burst pistol. I don't know why I love three arm burst pistols. I just do. I just love the sound of them and the way they feel. And then we got Stim Shot again. We got Flash A, Lightweight, Ghost. Uh, just a very basic class setup with the Vapor. Last but not least, this. Oh my, let me take my headset off. This gun right here. This gun. The Augur DMR is absolutely insane. Right now, I use Reflex on it with FMJ just to shred through people's armor, uh, long barrel, and fast mag. Just because I want to stack this gun and make it as strong as I can because this gun kills in like three bullets. It's a three bullet kill and it, you could spam it. It's like an M21 from uh, Call of Duty 4 where you just like do 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 do. But like this gun is so strong. You can shoot it so quickly. It's easily one of the best guns in the game. And uh, I feel bad. I, I feel bad when I use this weapon just because it's that good. Like when I'm killing people, I'm like, I I'm sorry. I'm probably ruining your online Call of Duty public match experience. And th it's just so good. So I would highly advise all you to make it this class. Reflex, FMJ, Long Barrel, and Fast Mag. Just so you don't get caught reloading. Reload, reload, bah, 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 bah. Like it's over. So this gun, very good. Make sure you check this out. FMJ, Long Barrel. Fast mags and reflex, use that. And then stem, uh, flag jacket, lightweight goes the basic uh, perks again. And guys, that's going to do it for my public match class setup video slash best guns in the game. And I did hope it helps. If it does, come back or just tweet me. Be like, yo, I watched your video a few weeks ago. It helped me a lot. And uh, I always love to see messages like that. But thank you guys all for watching. If you made it to the end, you are a real one. And I appreciate that. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, my name is Attach, and I'm out. Peace.